Okay, so this is uh, a chess game I played. I bought Shredder Classic 5 very recently. There's three versions you can buy. And I decided that I'm better off buying the first version because I'm not sure if I'll need anything else. Uh, actually, until maybe several years into the future. So I start here. Um, I've been using the Shredder app on Android and iOS and playing around with it because I like to play versus the computer when I learn stuff because it's uh, I don't like the pressure of playing versus players and let's say I play 10 minute games, 15 minute games and I feel rushed because I can't do things in my own pace. So I feel it's better to just play versus the computer and if I need a break I take a break, if I don't I don't and uh, yeah it just simplifies a lot of things. Um, also. On a site like chess.com, you actually need to kind of like buy an account to have the analysis. And sure, I could use Lit Chess, uh, but it feels, I don't know, it feels easier to have things versus a computer where you can just like, okay, I want to, I mean, you can save stuff there as well on litchess.com or is it .org? I don't know. Anyways, Lit Chess, who, whatever. And um, the thing is that you can, you, you can save your games there, but you can't see them. Like, if you play versus a computer, they're not saved. If I play, like, when I play versus Shredder, I have games that I've saved. So I just saved games here. Um, and I've also, there's also positions that I can load. So I can load positions. So I can save positions as well if there's positions that I find are interesting for different reasons. And then I just write a note here. Um, and since I love learning, there's situations where I know that right now I have no idea what to do. But, oh shit, hold on, that, that didn't, okay, let me do it like this. Um, there are situations where I know that I don't know what I, what I want to do, but if I become better uh, in the future, I'll know what, what I'll want to do and stuff like that. So that's things that I'm trying to do. So anyways, this is, so what's the date? We're looking at the, this is the 3rd of February. 2022 so I actually looked at my chess.com account and I began that account um, 2015 so that's when Stormwinds I don't think she was one year even uh, when I created that account um, and she's the third child um, well actually she's my second but she's the third within the family like within the because they have an elder sibling, Stormwinds. So it's it's actually, I was kind of shocked to see that number. But then when I thought about it, it was like, wow. So that actually kind of makes sense because it's, it's even if I haven't planned or even if I haven't played as I've planned when it comes to chess, it shows how much I've loved chess and how much I've actually tried to get into it. Um, it's just that I just kind of don't spend that much time playing it. Um, I have short spurts and then later years this I'd say this year and then two years ago these are the first two times where I really try to spend more like when I get into chess I try to spend more time and actually really learn a bit more effectively than I have in the past because I actually but that's not actually true but the difference is I think the difference now compared to before is that I'm becoming better at seeing my own mistakes i think that's the big one that's that's really the big one and i know that i mean all you see here is the same thing on screen so it's like why am i even having this discussion but i think that it's an important discussion to have and i also think that if i i mean if i really want to learn that's that's what i need to do i need to like deeply discuss like why do things work out the way they do and i can just use timestamps. it's completely fine um, so right now the time is, let's see, yeah, 4.30. So I can even write a note. Hold on. I'm going to write a note here for myself so that I know that, like, I can have, uh, hold on. And I know that I'm taking away time for the video, but I mean, this video isn't created for other people anyways. It's created for myself. So it's all, it's all circular. It's all about learning and all that good stuff. Anyways. But yeah, so what I this time around when I'm playing chess. So last time I played, 
I was uh, I created a Chessable account and I paid for three years. So I actually have a subscription there. And Chessable is a site where you can learn courses and you can like there's different situations and it's great for like automatic like okay this happens this happens that happens and re recognizing patterns and stuff like that but the problem is it's it's i would call it automatic chess so you see a situation or position and then you react automatically because you've, you've rehearsed so many times so that's it just becomes automatic um the way that i need to learn to become good at anything is I need to be able to choose moves that are good because I won't be playing at grandmaster level anyways so I won't need to know all theory or know, know all the lines and stuff like that all the only thing I need is fundamental chess and base choices on things that make sense and then the better I become the longer I can calculate and stuff like that um, the, the more lethal I can become and the more I can defend myself to my enemies uh, lines and stuff that they're, that they're doing but that's like in the far future so right now it's all about just like what do I need to do to become better what are the mistakes that I'm doing um, what are the basics I need to keep in mind like what are the habits I need to build and how can I make sure that I keep on focusing on those specific habits even if it's super hard for me to break my bad habits because basically the problem that i've had that i've really realized is that i'm or i yeah i have been super overconfident like i've been super like yeah this is completely fine there's no problem i i got a plan i can do this blah blah, blah. i'm so good blah, blah blah and it's not like i'm good i'm not saying that as it like as if i'm like, yeah, I should be 1800. I know that I'm 1800. But it's definitely as if I would be like, yeah, but I'm, I'm definitely 1500. I mean, I know I'm 1500. It's just that I need to, you know, if, if, if I begin playing online. I mean, it's, it's so weird because I actually know that I'm not 1500. Because if I play versus players, I mean, like human beings, I know that I'll lose a lot online, especially with the time, with the time, time thing. So if it's like um, 10 minutes, I'm done. 15 minutes, I'm done. The players I'll win against will be players that are uh, beginners, basically. Um, and when I've realized that I'm over overestim overestimating my own abilities in chess, it's been it's been really really good because it actually. So this is what I like with chess is that it actually your own perspective on life actually shows through the way you play your, your chess. And I actually think that if you become more humble, um, it makes your chess better because it, it, it actually kind of like... So this is... The thing I love with chess is that it doesn't work the same way as many other things. Many other things, I can just get into them, learn the basics, and it's done. But chess is just... I think chess is goes so much deeper like there's so many more layers it's so much more complex so it's actually impossible for me to do it do like to learn chess the way that i usually learn things because there are so many different things that you need to keep track of and now that i'm at a level where i'm like okay i actually just suck and it's okay it's completely fine and the fact that i suck is something i can use to my advantage um now that I can view it from that kind of perspective, it becomes a lot easier to just like, okay, so this is this is where I'm at, this is what I need to do, and right now I just need to accept this is the fact, and I need to look at my games from that perspective. And as soon as I've begun doing that, it's become so much easier to just fucking get into things and, and just, you know, like, oh, okay, yeah, I did a mistake here, I could have done this instead, I did a mistake here, I could have done this instead, I could have, I did a mistake here, I could have done this instead, like, it's, um, it's actually very interesting, uh, it's a very humbling experience, and I actually love it, because it's, one part of me hates it, the ego, like, it, the ego is just like, this sucks nuts, like, why, like, why the hell am I doing this, like, it's not worth it, but the other part of me, the one that is drawn to chess, loves it, because it knows that, for every time that I become better at learning from my mistakes, it not only affects my chest in a positive way, it actually helps my life because I'm actually looking at 
the parts of me that are and I this goes super deep but I mean this is why I know that it works is because I, is because I, when I'm looking at the parts of my chest that are weak and I'm actually like okay yeah this is like this is the level I'm at I just suck nuts it's okay um, I can do certain good things but that's when I take my time and that's the thing which is something a lot of players speak about as well is or teachers is that you can do you can play well if you give yourself time and if you actually think <coughs> about alternatives and stuff the problem is that you make moves too soon and i mean that's that's really like if i if i don't take my time looking at a lot of possibilities and actually keep track of the things that are happening i will give the game away um, the amount of blunders I do are less now than it used to be, but when I begin doing blunders, it can just go straight to like, yeah, I don't like swearing that much anymore. So yeah, but anyways, so yeah, it's, it's super interesting, man. It's super interesting. So now I'll just go through the fucking game here and see what happens. Um, this is like, I think this is like the fourth, fifth, maybe sixth. I don't know. I like, I've looked at this game many times, many, 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 many a times. And uh, it's really interesting to see how this game, I would, I would say that this is the worst game that I've played. Um, there was another game I played, like, the, yeah, the day that I played this game, I played several games that were really, really bad. But I think this one is exceptional. And this one, and this that's also why I haven't played another game after that, because I've been, I've played games after that. But what I mean is, I made sure that I didn't erase because if you, the thing is, if you play on the computer, you can save it on the computer, and if you play, if you play on the uh, iPad or whatever, you, like you can you can save them whatever you play. But the problem is that I want to export them to the computer because the computer is like the main station where I have everything because it's so much easier to have everything on a computer because it's so much faster to save things on a file or whatever, or and just you know paste things and what like everything's so much faster than if you do it on a device. And this game. Like, there are so many mistakes. So I'm not even going to speak about the mistakes I make first. First, I'm just going to play through the game. So the playthrough, let's see. So the time right now, shit, I clicked the wrong thing. Time right now is 12.33. It's actually a bit more, but let's say 12.30. So that's when I begin. So I spoke, I spoke for 12 minutes. And that just goes to show how much I actually need to speak about this and just be frank about how bad i am it's completely fine like i don't have a problem it's it's completely fine um if, if you can't if you can't accept when you're a beginner at something how are you going to get better right so i mean and that's a, that's also how i noticed the difference between like wow pvp and chess because in wow pvp or even in like clash of clans or whatever it is like if i want to become better um, there's things I need to do and I can become better. And then once I've learned those things, it's completely fine and I just keep on building. But with chess, like there's, it's, I don't know. But it's also, I mean, I haven't gone ham as much either. So it's, there's a lot of aspects. I won't get into that actually. I won't get into that. That's a, that's a topic that I guess, I guess that also goes to show that I need to kind of like break down the different topics that I'm talking about and j just dig into them later and actually choose to like, okay, now I need to speak about this. I need to speak about that, blah, blah, blah. Well, this is more like a, this one is more like a, the beginnings. Like I had no idea what I would speak about except this game. And then things just happen as I spoke. And now here we are. Right. But that's also good. Cause that's how I keep track of the things that I actually need to learn and stuff. So let's see. So this is 14. Let's see, this is 1420. Okay, so let's start the game. Um, I'm actually gonna, can I pause the video? No, I can't. Okay, I'm, I'm, I have to drink some water, man. I have to drink water. Uh, my, 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 uh, I'm hoarse, my voice is hoarse. I've been sick, it caught the flu, and, uh, <clears throat> and, um, yeah, my voice got hit hard. I think this is the third week, maybe fourth. I have no idea. Uh, 
and I can't pause the video. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. <clears throat> I'm not going to turn it off, put it on, like, no, I'm not. I'm just going to keep on drinking. <sighs> okay, so, because <clears throat> that's also another thing, is I free flow things, right? So, I do things my way. I don't I do not do the whole, like, oh, I'm a YouTuber. Like, I don't believe in that. But anyways, enough of that. So, this is for 15.25. Okay. So, the game begins... I'm black here. Um, while I speak, I might as well speak about the the like when I learn, I like to learn a lot of things at the same time. So basically, right now, I'm I'm not gonna look at I'm not gonna look to the right and look at which what the move was. I'm just gonna remember from my mind like what the the coordinates are on the board so that I practice that as well. So. So I'm so used to being white, so I need to turn the board around in my head. And I'm like, okay, so that's C, and that's actually C4. So white goes C4. I respond with, um, let's see, so that's E5. Um, and then he goes knight C3. I go F6 with the knight, knight F6. This is completely fine, nothing strange. Uh, I'm actually not going to analyze, I just realized, but anyways, uh, he goes d4, I go bishop e7, pawn takes, um, pawn takes e5, uh, threatening my knight, so I go back to uh, g8, knight g8, he goes, uh, let's see, so that's e, actually that's f3, knight f3. Um, yeah, so that's c6, knight c6, everything's completely fine, he has a lot more control over the board, uh, he goes g3, pawn g3, oh yeah, g3, I go <clears throat> f6, um, I'm, so I'm, I'm looking at the pawn there, uh, and I'm, actually, I'm expecting white to take my pawn there. Doesn't goes um, bishop f4 protecting the pawn. I go uh, pawn. Let's see. So that's pawn d6. Now um, e takes d6. Bishop takes on d6, and bishop takes d6. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you, basically I'm not saying it correctly, but it's completely fine. Actually, how would I say this? Okay, so pawn e5 takes d6. Bishop e7 takes d6. Bishop f4 takes d6. Yeah, that seems to make sense. Let's look at the thing. Yep, I would say that's the way to say it. And here, pawn c7 takes bishop d6. Okay. Um, that's bishop g2. This is bishop c7, actually d7. I was looking at the c because it went from the c, but yeah. Um, that's queen d5. Yeah, actually queen d5, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm thinking about several things. This is actually, it's actually interesting. Just saying what I'm saying I think I'm learning things as I'm talking about this. Like even just saying the moves, I think I'm learning a lot of stuff. So it's, it's, I think that's why I had that, not brain freeze, but kind of like silence because I just realized certain things which were completely unexpected. So here I'm, I'm getting ready to castle pretty soon also. Um, definitely way behind in development. Um, and there's been a lot of trades. Right now I'm down upon as well. Um, I mean, I've been that for a while, but yeah. 
So let's see. So that's that's queen c7. That's pawn a3. Ca uh, black castles queen side. Um, that is knight b6. Uh, knight b5 actually. Knight b5. I go queen a5. Um, I didn't notice this. Oh yeah, because that's check. Okay, yeah. So I have to say that. So it's queen a5 check. That's what it was. Because I was like, why Why haven't you castled? Like, I should have noticed that the king didn't castle the white king. But then I just realized, oh yeah, it's because I actually threatened. Like, there's so many things going on in my mind um, just by going through this game, saying the things that I'm saying, which is completely fine. Um, so then I go knight e let's see so that's e7 queen takes pawn there yep queen takes d6 um uh, i duck out uh and i go knight f5 actually yeah knight f5 um queen goes f4 Rook goes e8. That's pawn h4. That's queen d8. That's pawn e4. That's bishop. Let's see. So that's bishop e6. Uh, that's pawn, well, let's see, pawn takes, pawn takes knight f5, um, bishop takes pawn c4, queen takes bishop c4, and here I'm just like, I'm not even going to continue this game, so... <clears throat> on the iPad, where I was playing this, I did not continue the game. And I did not resign there either. But uh, on this program, I've actually saved a version where I have resigned. That's why it has one zero. This one is without resigning, and this one is with resigning. <clears throat> so black wins. And then when I did the mistake of loading a position before, um, I... I ended up pasting this game again, which is why um, it returned to the to the beginning. Well, which is why it doesn't end. Like I haven't resigned here. Click, you can click resign right there. Um, so now I'm going to analyze the game, and I'm going to write a timestamp again here. So this is twenty three twenty. Twenty three twenty. So this is a playthrough. So that actually took a while as well, the playthrough, which is completely fine because that's what, like, what, like, what, like, 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 like I said, um, I'm doing this for me. I'm not doing this for anyone else. So for me, it doesn't matter. Like, to me, it's super important that I actually learn. So this is what I'm doing. Um, and then, I mean, if you want to learn, you can do things a lot faster as well. But the thing is, we all learn differently. We all go to different depths. And this game. There were so many mistakes that I did, so it's one of those games that, that I could actually go back to and just reanalyze. Um, and the fact, this is quite funny, uh, in WoW PvP, the reason that I'm not into RBGs right now at all is there are several reasons. Um, but there was the RBG tournament, um, I was watching a lot of ANA streamers, and I actually learned a lot while doing that and i also learned a lot about the players that i should stop watching and what happened was i came i think i came to a point where it was like okay so what i read what i need right now with rbgs is actually just play rbgs like i don't need to learn stuff from players right now i just need to play rbgs and then i got sick so i haven't played rbgs i'm not playing rbgs at all and that means that I'm just, like, I'm better off doing, that's why I'm focusing on chess, because I'm better off learning other stuff instead of 
digging deeper into RPGs when the only thing I need to do is play the game, use voice, and just get going from there. Um, which is very, very interesting because I learn, like, I don't need to play the, like, so with chess, I definitely need to do things to make sure, like, I, with chess, I just have to play, 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 analyze, play. Like, that's the only way I'll get better. But with things like uh, WoW PP and stuff like that, Clash of Clans or whatever, once you learn the mechanics of things, um, you don't really need to do it until... When it's game time, it's like, okay, so let's get some warm-ups, whatever, and now we need to, like, focus up and whatever, right? And So you, that you actually play the game, but it's it's so much easier in comparison to chess because chess is so much more involved. Like, there's so many more things to keep track of, which is great because that actually means that my PvP play will be better. The better I get at chess, the better I'll be, be at PvP as well because that's what happened, actually, when I said that I was... Um, when I was saying the the movements, and then I said something like, "Okay, so a lot of things just happened there." And the things that happened were that I was seeing movements within PvP <laughs> while I was talking chess. So it was, it was super weird. It wasn't weird. Like I understand my my imagination is whatever it is, but well, I, I didn't expect it. That's the thing. So, anyways, so now I need to write this down again because I actually did not do the analysis at the time that I said I would so it's 2630 I'm actually gonna say 2635 actually just to and it's actually I guess it's wrong as well but it's close enough yeah that's good okay so let's do this again this is the analysis so they do their move my plan is always to have uh, pieces towards the middle and use habits that are inspired by Chespra. Actually, I'm on from the Chespra channel. They're, they're two players um, that have the Chespra channel. It's Eric Hansen and uh, Amon Hamilton. And Amon Hamilton has the Siri series, which is for beginners with uh, 700 ELO, 500, well, actually 500 to 700 ELO. And uh, he, ta he speaks about different habits that you can build and different things that you can choose to keep in mind which it won't always win positions, but it's a great way to kind of like build habits. One of them is always move your pieces towards the center, which is something everyone speaks about, but you can do it in different ways, right? So, so this game, I know that I was not really keeping that in mind. Actually, uh, the games this day, I wasn't keeping that in mind, which is also why I played so badly. But I was also like, I want to play games, I want to play games. So I just, like, I just want to get games in. So I don't think, <laughs> sorry about that. I don't, so I don't think I was really caring about the results as much as I, well, I wasn't really caring about playing as cautiously as I should. Like if I want to play well. So yeah. Um, so I'm playing towards the, and also I'm, I'm going for moves which are super... When I stick to my game plan, my regular game plan is moves that are simple and that make sense and that are, um, I guess, cautious or like, yeah, whatever, you'll see. So, I mean, this is nothing special. Um, he speaks about using the knight. So if, if you have the knight on the C side, you move your knight on the F side and vice versa. So I, I'm sticking to that rule for now because it, it's it's uh, the knight, because that means that the knights are hitting, hitting the same squares. So this knight is hitting there, I'm hitting there, he's hitting here, I'm hitting here, right? Um, so it's just a simple way to keep track of things without overthinking things. Because when I was using Chessable before, um, I was going for the Jobava London opening and because um, I wanted an opening that had positions that felt like, okay, I can actually kind of like enjoy these positions. Um, <clears throat> it can be more open. It can be more closed depending on how you play it. But um, so, and also I like the idea of like you choose one opening because that opening, if you choose one opening and you master that, it's a great way to get better at the middle game. Because actually the middle game is where everything goes to shit. I mean, you could say that the opening is where things go to shit. Um, but I mean, if you, if you just... So one thing I realized was I should not be thinking about openings. I should be thinking about development. 
And if my mind thinks about development and creates like a, like if I try to create like, okay, so, okay. So if I look at chess as this is actually PVP, this is war. Um, I'm having my armies going to another country and I'm fighting somewhere. Development is actually travel. Development is actually these pieces moving to another country. These pieces move to another country and we're like, okay, let's fight here. And you could actually say that we're going, so I could be going from Sweden to Norway and these guys could be going from Norway to Sweden, whatever, right? But, that, but like I said with my imagination, if I create a bigger picture, it, it, actually, it activates my mind a lot more than if I just say, we're in Stockholm, right? So I need to activate my imagination to, so that my imagination helps me learn faster because that's just how my brain works. Like my imagination, if I get that thing going, things become so much more interesting. So when I began looking at it that way, it's actually like, okay, so development is just traveling. I'm not attacking anything. I'm not really taking anything. I'm just traveling. I'm just putting my pieces in positions that are beneficial for myself. That's the way that I should think when I play the game. Um, and if I think about it that way, it becomes so much easier for me to think about the opening. Like, what is the actual opening? Opening it does not involve combat. I mean, it does have combat, but that's not the goal. The goal is just development to actually move your pieces into a position where it becomes easier to attack the way that you want to attack and also make it harder for them to, uh, for the enemy to attack your pieces, right? So we'll see. Um, so this move, since we have the pawns here attacking these squares, um, I don't go here and I do not go here because I because I was actually this game I was thinking well if I go over here I'll have to remember that this might attack in the future and that could get murky and then there's two pawns here and I want to have squares to go back to so let's say I go here this comes down I go down there this one goes here I go here this one goes there it's it's gone right it's gone so I, I was just like no I'll just keep it simple play here I get it out of here I can I can have a uh, the the cat, I can castle the king, uh, king side if I want to, um, um, and all's good, right? So I kept it simple. So and actually, I would say that that was a solid move. Um, I'm not saying like it's the best move. I'm just saying like from my perspective, where I'm at right now, it's a solid move. He takes. So now my knight's under attack, and I'm like, okay, so I can't go here because I'm under attack. I can't go here because he'll, he'll be grabbed. I can't go here because it's illegal, so I go back. I can actually go here, but if I go here, um, you'll be taken by the queen in the future, so I just go back. Simple. Here, <coughs> I'm expecting another move. Um, well, actually, never mind, never mind. Yeah, so he just develops, attacking, well, actually, um, protecting. Um, and also, if I mean, if I would look at... I'm not doing that right now, but if I would if I would analyze this game, I actually need to quit soon because my voice is just dying. But if I would look at this, so next time I analyze this game, because I'll analyze this game again and again, um, I'll actually be looking at what did white do correctly? Like what did white do against me that I need to learn from? And just actually flip the board. So control F flips the board. And then you just look at like white's development and just look at the things that white did correctly. Because if I change perspective, it's become so much easier. I actually need to write that down. Hold on. <clears throat> so this is... <clears throat> shit. 33. Yeah, this is really bad for my voice. This is not good. This is not good. So 34. <clears throat> oh, God. Um, 34. Future video. Flipboard. And analyze white pieces. Okay. And that's a great idea, actually. That's a really good idea. Because um, the thing I like with the way that I learned chess is I don't do things the way that I think I should or would. But when I get serious, I go ham. So 
This game is an example of how I never ever want to play again. And if I never ever want to play like this again, I actually have to make sure that I learn from this game as much as I can. Like just milk this game as much as I can, right? So yeah, that's that. Let me think, I need, I need to go back a bit just to, okay, so yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Just so I remember where I was mentally. Okay, yeah, cool. Um, so I developed my knight. He moves a pawn. Why does he move that pawn? Yeah, that's the thing. So Shredder, this is something I like with Shredder, is sometimes Shredder does these, these random moves. Um, and I love that because that's like, oh shit, you're actually playing like a beginner. And I actually love that part. And I also have Shredder set on random. Well, on the computer, you can, you can set the modes. Uh, is, is it mode? No, it's not. Um, shit it's actually yeah it's when you begin the game never mind but anyways you can have random plays you can choose the play style or well, actually it's engines it's actually engines that's what it is uh so you can set the engines and no it's not there's something else never engine options oh <sighs> shit never mind i can't remember but it's a good thing i'm talking about it because if i talk about it it makes it easier to remember but i like that the fact that you can actually have you play versus the computer. Well, actually versus Shredder, because I mean, it is different engines. You need to respect the fact that it's different engines. It's not the same thing. The chess.com engine is not the same engine as only chess. Um, and so that's why I also, like there's a lot of reasons why Elite chess is better. It's also free. Uh, I was about to well, say free to play, but it actually is free. Um, and it's also like, everything is just better uh, on the chess. It's just that you have, the competition is high on the chess as well. Um, it's just that chess.com is such a juggernaut um, with the whole thing, but Lichess is growing, so that's a great thing. But anyways, um, so so if I were to recommend a site, I would say Lichess, for sure. Uh, like there's there's just everything is better. Like the interface is is cleaner. Everything's just better there. Um, and also, you don't need to pay for the stuff because chess.com is built on you paying for the services and stuff and milking money that way uh, but uh, never mind never mind Let, let's focus up so yeah but actually i am focused so I, it's, it's completely fine it's just that i'm yeah so this move here g3 when i see it now like what the hell which is great uh and i actually think i reacted in the game as well but not like too because because i mean Another thing that I'm noticing now when I'm looking at the game is that there's nothing attacking this here. So I could move this bishop again so that I have squares um, taken care of. And then I could move out the knight or I could move out the queen or whatever just to defend that. Um, that uh, Like there's so many different ideas. Okay. One idea is if I move the bishop here, um i move the so the bishop goes there now the bishop's unprotected so i'll get attacked here boom the next move if that happens i actually have to move my bishop so it's not like it's not really i mean you could go you say i could go here and then he comes down and then i go here and then he comes down and i've just wasted all of my time with the bishop while while um, the enemy actually controls more square squares. So actually another thing that I just realized is the fact that that just tells me that I'm wasting tempo while my enemy gains tempo. Because the more squares you control, so this is his half, this is my half. And so the more squares you, the more pieces you have developed on your side, especially towards the center, but just in general, the more danger it becomes for your pieces to move. I mean, that's just common sense. But now that as I'm speaking about it and looking at it, it just becomes so much easier to actually see. So I'll just, I'll just drop that idea entirely. But I actually like the fact that I discuss it because if I discuss it, I can understand things. And, if, and that's the hard part with chess is actually understanding what goes on if you do certain decisions. Like, why does this happen? What happens if you do this instead? What happens if you do that instead? You know? So I move a pawn. Yeah, so moving this pawn. Yeah, I actually had a choice between moving this pawn or that pawn. Um, I could have moved this knight over here, but that doesn't do anything. No, I can't because it gets taken instantly. It's just dead. So good. I actually thought that. But yeah. Um, 
so what options do I have here? I moved this pawn here, the the e6 pawn. I mean, it's e7 to e6, but yeah. So I moved it. I moved pawn to e6. What other options do I have? Not nothing with the bishop, nothing with the knight because this is garbage. Um, yeah, this is just garbage. Uh, garbage. I could go here. I guess this would be the move. If I go here, it's the queen defending, no one else. Instead, I go here. Because the thing is, this pawn opens up for my queen. I mean, it, do it doesn't open up for my queen instantly, but over time, it opens up for my queen. And it opens up for my bishop, definitely, right? So it's a lot better to go here than it would be to go here. That's just an instant, like, that's something I'd change instantly. So I'd go boom. And then takes, um, takes, and then see what, what happens, right? But instead, I go here. That's another thing. Like, the moves, are, like, I won't even do the variations right now. Um, I'll do the variations, like, the next time I analyze. So I'll actually write that down. Variations, 41. Um, let's see. So, yeah. Okay. Shit. Uh, okay, yeah. So, but actually, like, I mean, that's a ton of stuff that I'm learning right there. The fact that why is it better to go with this pawn instead of that pawn? The fact that I open up for this, and I actually know these things, it's just that you need to remember them. Like, if you can't remember them when you're actually playing the game, while you're actually, when you need to perform, then you actually don't know them. Um, you might know them, so, if you want to be good at something, actually, I don't like the word good. If you want to be great at something, but that's the thing, like, chess, I don't expect to be great at chess, uh, like, in a very long time. And I mean like a very, very long time because I don't play chess at the level that I need to become to become great. Like I, I really don't. But the thing is, um, I actually believe that right now the way that I'm playing World of Warcraft uh, opens up the opportunities to become really good at chess because chess is, it's so much, oh shit, sorry. Uh, I'm checking something on the phone. I shouldn't, but I just had to. Let's see. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Let's see. Uh, hold on. Okay, yeah. So now I'm reading other stuff. Okay, I know that I'm wasting time here. Okay, shit, I can't. Okay, <clears throat> internet drama. I should not be reading my phone while recording. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, actually, I'm not sorry because, yeah, I should have turned off this recording a long time ago, but I decided to actually play through the fucking game. At least once um, with analysis. So, and the thing is, all I mean, that's what I mean. Like, I have no idea how much I actually will learn uh, until I actually try learning. So, it's super important that I actually, yeah, you, you get the picture. Um, now, this is risky business, but I could also go with this pawn. I could go here and then. No, because, yeah, 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 I could go here, and then, uh, so, uh, just to use the words so you understand what I'm saying, I could go uh, pawn b6, and then I could go bishop a6, hit this square over here, which is a great diagonal to have, actually, it's a lot better diagonal than to have the, the bishop over here, or, like, yeah, I mean, I mean, since I'm black, 
you want you want the the bishop to hit this side so that's an option that i need to keep it open as well especially as black because i usually what i do is i usually play one color more so i get into the mindset of that color just so i get used to playing those games and then i go random when i feel like okay now i want to go random and this day I actually went random i think i could be wrong um could actually be wrong because uh but yeah um it's just interesting that i actually see this right now because I've thought of this in the past, like a couple of years ago, that that this is a great way to, like you open up here and you can hit this side. So that's also a great thing that I like with chess is the fact that I'm revisiting old ideas that I've had in the past. But right now I'm trying to play less, I'm trying to play more straightforward so that I perform better. But the thing is, and the thing is also this pawn doesn't go towards the center, right? But the thing is, since I'm black, but this also depends on if it's... So let's say they castle kingside. That's when you can do a move like that. Uh, but also in this kind of situation, it's also a move that's actually viable. Because it it opens up the... You open up here, but like, yeah. Mm, but that's the thing as well, is every time you move the pawn, you weaken something else. So you actually need to keep track of those things as well. So maybe the, <laughs> the rook might be hit in the future. Because I open up this diagonal as well, right? So I mean, it's it's a double-edged sword, literally, that you need to keep track of. So that's why I need to play simple chess and not get into this right now. But I actually like the fact that I actually thought of it. So I think that's the good part. Whew. Okay, so I go there. Takes actually never mind. Yeah, so he he just keeps on developing. Like, yeah, that's just awesome. Uh, I really like the way White plays this game. Um. There's several things white doesn't do good, but I mean, I'm doing a lot worse, so it's completely fine. I mean, white's completely winning here. Because the funny thing is this, I'm down one pawn, but look at the position here. Like, j just look at this. Is it like, I'm completely dead. I'm dead, dude. I have nothing. <coughs> I actually need to focus up to to retake my, my throne here. And I didn't want to trade queens. That's why I didn't take this way. Because if I would take, uh, he takes... I take actually he doesn't take there but yeah so let's say I take I mean he just wants to trade Queens at, at this elo the shredder just takes Queens all the time and I didn't want to trade Queens because <clears throat> I felt like if I keep the Queens um, I have a higher chance of actually regaining my position but I mean if I would end up in this position again I'll just trade Queens because then I know that it becomes easier for me to actually have a chance to move around the board without that queen becoming half so because the queen is the reason i mean my bad gameplay is the reason i lose but i mean it just yeah it's, it's just interesting how you make different choices depending on the situation you're in and also the fact that i spent so much time here talking about all this i mean i don't think i think it would be very hard for me Especially if I actually do record another video, I think it will be very hard for me to repeat the same mistakes that I did here. Because I will have been gone into so much depth and actually taken this seriously so that it actually becomes this thing where my mind just goes, okay, yeah, I actually recognize all the mistakes I did here. Not all, but I remember several mistakes and I just never want to do these again. And I actually see why, like, I can actually see why it was a mistake, stuff like that. And that actually gives me the opportunity to then fix them, the mistakes, as it were, right? So that's interesting. Let's see. So bishop, let's see. Okay, uh, I need to go back just to get a flow of things. I actually like that as well. The fact that I, when I look at a game, I actually need to go back. Because it actually, the, the, the move order of when things happen is super important in chess. I love that. Um, like in WoW RBGs. Um, there's a lot of things happening and there's a lot of like, that's why communication is so important because if, if you have people communicating, the other players can then know, like you can actually predict things if people call things out um, in good ways. Um, I won't even give examples, but yeah. So yeah, it's just awesome. Uh, I know I'm going to move this a bit. Yeah, my mic stand is complete chaos, bro. Complete chaos. Um, streaming is not something I'm interested in right now at all because my computer is just garbage. So it's, 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 it's not happening. I need to, I think I need to buy a new computer before I can do that. 
which is super sad, but that's a long story. I mean, I could fix the other computer here, but uh, I think it's better just buy a new one because even the old one isn't like, a, yeah, I just need to buy a new one. Um, okay, let's let's see here. Um, so I think I need to eat melon mole, which is a snack. It's not a snack, but it's like a midday snack, I guess. It's, snack is the wrong word. It's like something you eat between lunch. Like, so in kindergarten here in Sweden, we have, uh, actually we call it preschool now, I guess. But anyways, um, we actually use the word preschool. Um, uh, well, I guess the people that work there call it preschool. Well, everyone else just keeps calling it kindergarten. But it's different ways of looking at it because it actually is different kind of, kinds of... Um, Organization, not even organizations, but it's like it's not the same thing at all. It's it's definitely different. Uh, it's just, but the thing is that kindergarten was actually better uh, because it had more. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I can't find the words. Why, why the hell am I talking about all this stuff? I actually think chess opens up my mind. That's why I'm so like. There's so many things happening, just like um, not even arbitrarily, but. Um, what is that word when you learn when you learn things by osmosis? So I think I'm, my mind is just like phew, blossoming. That's why I love chess. And I mean, I didn't know that this would happen. It's just that because I I don't even know why I'm drawn to chess. I just know that I'm drawn to chess and that I need to kind of like get into it more and more. No matter like no matter what I do in the future, I just need to get into chess more and more. That's one of the things that I actually need to do in my life, and I even don't even know why. I just know that I need to to do it. And I respect the fact that I need to. So, but but I can only do it when I really feel like it. And that's why I'm so happy that I got into, like, the WoW RPGs. I got to a point where I was like, okay. Well, actually, WoW PvP. I got to a point where I was like, okay. There is no point in me spending any more time in WoW PvP trying to learn things there. So I should just look at chess. Because there's no, like, I could play Clash of Clans right now. But, I mean, Clash of Clans... Um, I have Town Hall 9, and I have two Town Hall 9s, actually, and I love, because I love the Town Hall 9 attacks, so, and I know those attacks, so there's no point in me playing Clash of Clans, because I'll join a clan, I'll have fun, I'll do the same thing, but then I get kicked, kicked in the future, like, there's, like, there's no point doing it, um, <clears throat> so I'm better off learning chess, which is a lot harder, and something that it really like lessons for life i mean i get lessons for life from every, everything i do because that's just how the way that i do things but yeah whoa whoa what the fuck let's see here yeah it's actually an hour this is actually incredible but yeah i mean that just goes to, i mean because yeah never mind I, w I won't even explain it but yeah yeah there's definitely so effective time it's at least like half an hour of like me actually learning a lot of stuff because that's another thing if i rewatch this there will be and it, well, actually it's more like listening than rewatch but but also actually rewatch because just having these up these positions like the fact that i'm keeping this up also makes it a lot easier for my mind to just look at different ways of doing things as well so yeah never mind I mean, as an example, like if I flip the board, like how could white do a better move? Like there, there's so many ways to analyze this. Okay, I need to write that down. The, the fact that you can actually analyze the game, not only analyze white's game, but also how could white play better? I mean, that just, that's just lethal as well. Like, like that's, that's next level, right? So you, you first want to improve yourself, but then it's like, okay, so what can you do to improve white's position even better? Like how could you play better than white did so how uh improve white's play mixed analysis as well i mean that just because because i mean if you want to become great at something because that's the thing I don't, I don't use good as a metric i can use i can use good as a metric to become like if i if i'm a beginner and i want to become better then, of course, I want to first it's like, okay, I'm just a beginner. I'm just a beginner. I'm just a beginner. And then, okay, now I'm kind of good. I'm kind of good. I'm, I'm okay-ish, whatever. And then and now I'm good. And then when I'm good, it's like, okay, now now let, let, let's set us out on great. And like, what do we need to go from good to great? But that's why I said in chess that I'm not really, like, great is not, like, that's not going to happen. Like, that's 
that's far into the future. So that's not even a part of my goal. But the thing is, if I actually become good at analyzing games like I'm doing, I'm not saying that I'm good the way that I'm doing it now. I'm just saying that the fact that I'm actually just analyzing, because that's the thing. Another person would analyze in a completely different way, which is completely fine. It's super efficient, whatever, that's fine. But the thing is, the, the fact that I'm discussing things, that I, the way that I'm doing, that's, that is the way that my brain works with my imagination. The fact that I'm actually discussing, that's everything. That's actually everything because that's when I engage every part of my soul. That's when everything like whoop, begins clicking, right? Um, so let's see here. <clears throat> I was thinking of something else, something else, but I forgot. So, uh, yeah, I was thinking of something else, but I forgot. Uh, so, yeah, takes. So I did a mistake here. Um, I wanted I wanted to trade bishops, but. The, so I had one thing in mind, which was I need to have my bishop in front of my queen. And I actually think I forgot here. So I actually took with the wrong piece. I both forgot and didn't forget. So here I remember that, okay, I'll, I'll, uh, he will, he will, oh yeah, I expected him to take here. So he, he took this side because he wants to trade, trade queens. So here. I, I did the move too quickly and I take with the bishop. I should have taken with uh, the the pawn. He takes, I take with the, and so here I would have had a bishop. Um, and a bishop here is a lot more powerful compared to having a pawn. But yeah, it is what it is. And he doesn't have a reason to trade because if he trades here, I mean, he just loses, like he, he basically loses a queen here. That's why he doesn't. So he would need to move this one over there and then go and then like, but that's just a loss. So yeah, um, cause two pawns, one piece, like, I mean, a piece is three, you get the picture. But actually, if you have three pawns versus a knight, the three pawns are more, more valuable, depending on where they are and how you play and all that stuff. But yeah, um, so let's see here. I need to go back. Takes, takes, okay, yeah. Um, he moves the bishop, hitting this side, hitting the rook. I mean, like, you know what I mean. Um, so that's actually a good diagonal to have, um, uh, in case I do mistakes in the future. So yeah, I moved the bishop, I should have moved the bishop over here. I, oh yeah, that's what I was thinking. So I didn't want to trade pieces here. I'd never wanted to trade pieces. So I moved my bishop over here instead of moving it over there. Like there's so many things I did. Like in here, in this position, I could have, I could as well have moved the bishop over here. I was, I was about to say that I could have moved the pawn there, but if I move the pawn there, it takes, and then you have this one as well. So I would have need to have the knight here as well, protecting that. So that's another. Like there's so many things. There's so many different ways of playing this, but the simplest way would be bishop, knight. To protect this, um, and let's see. Let me think. That's actually wrong, though. That's not. That's not correct. Because if I go here, takes and I take, he takes, and he can skewer my no. Because I have this. Okay. So, but if he stands here. That's dangerous. He can. Yeah. That's just dangerous. That's a miscalculation right there. That's actually a miscalculation. But I love the fact that I thought of it. So, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of things. Um, he's still controlling a lot more than I am. Like, he's controlling here, there, um, there, 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 there. Like, it's here. Like, it's... He's hitting so many more places than I am. I'm here, here. I mean, th this doesn't matter. This does matter. This, this, um, this, this. But, yeah. Uh, when I'm faster, I can actually name these squares, but right now I, I, I don't like it's it's too many different things that I'm talking about So it's not worth the time, but that's definitely like in the future. That's really what I want to be like, okay, I'm hitting a5 um, b4 d4 and e5 and I'm hitting uh, C oh shit. Yeah, c5 uh, e5 and I'm hitting g5, right? So yeah but it's, yeah, it doesn't really help. And this, I mean, actually, this is actually, it's, I'm not saying it's good, but it's, it's not, it's actually better than I would expect. 
This is a lot worse. Actually, it's the same, but why, do, why does it feel... Oh yeah, it's because if you cast Kingside, it feels as if I'm hitting... Yeah, that's actually... Dunk, 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 uh, dunk, dunk. I'm trying to think. I don't know, I'm trying to... Uh, wow, yeah, this is... This is actually mind expanding. <laughs> it's super weird. My brain is definitely like... And I'm not even halfway through. You know, I'm actually... Okay, it actually is halfway. Okay, so let's go. Ah, so spoken about that. He goes down there. Um, this is a very bad move for me. Great move from white. Because this hits like a, a queen in the center. This is just dangerous. Um, if I go knight here, it has to move. Right? So he could go over there. He could go back here. He could... Um, yeah, I mean, it's these two squares. Yeah, it's actually these two squares. I mean, he could go further back, but I mean, these, he would go here or here. And I actually like that move. So I actually need to remember that. I'll take knight here, boom, hit that. Protects the, 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 the king from mate as well. Because actually having the kin, king exposed this long is really bad as well. Um, and I mean, sure, you could say knight. Um, I mean, I like the knight more because the knight is, yeah, that's really good. I really like that because it's like knight here, knight there, protected by the bishop. I mean, that happens later, but yeah, it's interesting. Okay, let's go. So I go queen here. Oh, because I want to protect, protect the... That's actually... Yeah, because I thought of that. Like, here, you can take. You can actually bump, go down here, take. I don't know why it doesn't take, but yeah, you should actually go down here and just take. So you have that over and done with. But he gives me time, you know, it's Shredder. He doesn't do the best moves since he's playing at a lower elo. So, uh, and I'm actually, so next video, okay, I need to write that down. Um, let's see. What is Shredder's elo here? Let's see, so that's one hour... O two. One hour o two zero zero. Yeah, what is Shredder we really very important to know? Because actually like Yeah, I actually like that a lot. I like that a lot. I like the fact that Shredder does mistakes and that I actually see the mistakes. Uh because I actually learn even more from that. Because that means that also means that I know that I could have lost a lot sooner if I played. Well, actually, I could have, yeah, basically lost sooner. Because, um, yeah, if you suck and you play versus someone, that's even better. You just lose faster and you don't know what the hell happened, right? So, um, this move, I don't like it. I could have gone here, actually. If I go here, it's really good. Because, um, no, it's not. Because if I go here, you go down. If takes, and I take, you take. So, I mean, it's garbage. But I like the idea of it. Um, I really like the idea of it. I could go here, but I mean, just go down there. So it's still garbage. But I like the idea of seeing it. That's the thing, because you actually want to hit here. So I guess that's like, okay, so how can you get rid of this one? Or how can you move that? I mean, that's why this one is so important. Because if you get rid of this, and it moves... Well, if it moves over there, you go here. I mean, he doesn't trade. It's fine. He doesn't trade. Actually, he does. Does he trade? No, he doesn't trade. Because then I open up this file. He doesn't want that. He doesn't. Damn, man. I'm loving this, bro. I'm loving this. There's so many different ways of learning. Uh, he does the reverse Sicilian. It's actually written here. And I don't usually speak about things like that, but it's good to know. Anyways, so he moves this. I have no idea why. That's actually a garbage move, uh, which actually should give me time. Um, I castle this side because uh, the pawn's open here. I mean, also, if I would want to castle, it's... I mean... I didn't find the move, <clears throat> but I mean, I, I just wanted to be protected. So I feel more protected this side than this side. Um, is it true? Actually, no, because you actually have this one over there as well. So they're both hitting here. But um, I mean, yeah, there's, there's, I mean, it's so interesting because that means that next time if I have my queen here, I mean, if, if my enemy has the queen here, so white has queen here. Getting that queen out of there becomes super important with uh, like this. This is instant next time. That's just instant. As long as I keep on like um, as long as I keep my mind open and actually looking at the board. 
and stuff, right? So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so this game is, it's over soon. But, um, so he goes down here, threatens my queen. Let me see. He, he, wait, what was he? What, what did I do? Shit, I went too far. Yeah, he, okay, he goes down here, threatens my queen. I move here. Um, he could just move here and kick my, my, uh, my queen. Then I have to go here, but yeah, um, he doesn't, oh, that's check. That's why I went there. Yeah. That's why I went there. I forgot. Okay. So yeah, check. Cause I'm trying to buy time and then I see this move. So I make the move here. So I see the move later. So I want to kick this one away and let's see. So I was speaking about these squares, right? But let's see where he goes. Cause I don't remember. Yeah, he just takes the pawn, the free pawn. Yeah, because I moved the queen. So he could have taken the pawn earlier when he made this move, which I was speaking about. He could have taken the pawn there, but he didn't. And then instead he takes the pawn here. So he takes the pawn. Okay, I'm making too many moves. Hold on. I'm not used to shredder. I haven't used it long enough, so that's why. Um, I'm going to turn something off here. There it is. Turn it off on the phones. Hold on. Oh shit, that's actually wrong. Oh shit. So <clears throat> yeah, I I go I go here with the knight. Knight e seven. He takes pawn d six. I threaten the, because I don't like having the queen there. So I threaten the queen again. And queen goes back to exactly f5. I don't move my knight here. I move the rook, so I'm having plans hitting this side because I like the queen here. I'm having plans and ideas here. And he just takes my knight. Oh, no, he doesn't. So that's the thing. He does other stuff. But he takes it next move. So, I mean, but yeah, it's, it's a complete blunder for me not moving that knight, not keeping... Oh, I have... No, I forget. I have the bishop here. That's what it was. Okay, yeah. So, I move the knight back down. Why do I move the knight back down here? Yeah, because I'm having some ideas. I, I don't remember what it was, but I think I have some ideas here for something. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, threatening my knight. I move my bishop. Like, why am I moving my bishop? Oh, I want to grab this pawn. I see this pawn somewhere. Okay, that's weird. So I have ideas of grabbing that. Like, I don't, that's not what I want to do first, but I get ideas. So somewhere here, I'm just distracted, and I'm thinking about this pawn. It's a free pawn. And I forget my, uh, my knight. So I move my bishop. He takes my knight with the pawn. And now this pawn is super high up. So I just grab that pawn. I still go with the plan. And actually that opens up. Like there's so many mistakes here. I go there and he just takes. And I mean, this is just, yeah. So that's the game. Could I actually continue the game here? That's another thing I'll do in the future is actually continue the game. Because even if I'm completely lost, uh, it's a great way to practice. Uh, I was about to say Clash of Clans, but yeah, practicing the game and just become better. Basically... Because I have this thing where you should give up when the thing is lost. But the thing is, you can still find better moves. Like, even if it's lost, if you find ways to find better moves, you become a better player, right? So, um, game over. Find ways to keep on playing. Video three or four. So, I guess you could call it chapter one. Chess worst game series. I guess that's, yeah, that's actually, that's, I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll actually create a playlist for this. Um, <clears throat> I actually create a playlist. Uh, create a playlist for your chess analysis. Plus worst games. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, so what's the timer on this? I'm going to turn it off. We're done. 
So that's 108.40 approximately. Okay. Perfect. I'm done. Thanks for watching. I'll be coming back to chess. This is actually awesome. Peace. And I actually think that if I if I rewatch this, I can actually learn a lot as well. Um, and I mean that's why I record as well is because I want to learn. Like that's like there, there's so many things because because I was actually so this is quite interesting. I thought I would be analyzing PvP games, my own PvP games and stuff, but then I just learned so much. Uh, without needing to do it and I wasn't even playing real RBG games so it felt because I can have ideas like oh yeah I'm gonna do this and I'll learn this way and then I'll do it that way but if my learning curve is so much faster than I expect then I don't need to do what I thought I needed to do because I'm still learning so much other stuff that that was actually more important and that just uh, shortcuts the other the other stuff or short circuits or whatever you want to call it right actually yeah shortcuts it, it is short circuit but it's like short circuit in like a shortcutish way <laughs> it's weird but yeah um because the things i learned about rbg comms that is an example like like so many players on na do not take accountability in wow pvp um and they don't communicate at all um even there's a, there's a lot of good players um but they don't communicate the way they should and there's a lot of leaders that don't actually lead the way they should so i, I mean it's, it's when i say the way they should what i mean by that is if they were better leaders their teams would win more like a lot more and they just accept things that i don't like my my standards are so much higher so it's just yeah so, I mean, that's, that's also so interesting is I didn't expect to speak about WoW PvP while, while focused on chess. But, I mean, I'm just the way that I am. So, it's impossible for me, for me to not connect the different parts of life that are connected to whatever it is I'm doing. Because that's just the way that I work. That's why I have such an... Like, that's why I learn so fast. is because I connect so many different things at all times. And the more you learn, the more things you know are interconnected by principles and stuff. And... Um, also, I'm a, I'm a boomer, so it's it's super, uh, super, super, uh, I don't even know what you'd call that, but yeah, it's interesting. I think I've turned my mouth from the mic a lot as well, but that's completely fine without thinking, because I was, I mean, this is, what is this, an hour? I don't know. I'm actually going to do something on the thing. Let's see. So I'm going to go to the, the channel. See, channel upload no that's not what i want to go yeah content okay good so okay perfect um playlists i'm actually gonna let's see i'm actually really happy about this it, it's a weird feeling because this is actually i think this is uh let's see chess i think this is um hmm i'm trying to think yeah so this one's called chess analysis um and Uh, let's see actually i could do highlights i like that that's really good let's see Pro RBGs to study. Yeah, I like this. This is really good. Chess analysis. And then, uh, let's see.
Okay, I like that chess analysis. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see chess analysis. Huh, okay. Um, I'm act, I, I, this is, okay, this is, I'm trying to think. So I got this idea, which is super important, which is what happens if I analyze other people's games? Not only good players, but what happens if I analyze, analyze bad players and try to improve their games? Um, and then I just realized if you, if you, if you if you analyze bad players games sure it helps you to see things that they don't see or whatever like yeah increase your vision or whatever perspective but the problem is if you analyze great games instead what happens is you actually learn from what they like you basically i mean it's the same reason it's better to watch pros do something than beginners do something because you learn things by osmosis when you watch pros do things. The problem is if they do it too quickly, you can't understand. But that's why. So, I mean, that's uh, chess. <clears throat> Analysis of my games. Chess. Analysis of my games. Um, let's see, where's the, yeah, there's a lot of things going on, chess, analyzing, Grand Masters. Chess, analyzing favorite games. Let's go private with that. And then chess, analyzing my games. I, I need to have a title which makes sense. And chess, analyzing my games is much better than analysis of my games. Analyzing my games yeah that's much better that's so much better um chess my worst games
ever. And then one, my best games ever. My best games ever. I mean, that's just, I actually like this. I like this a lot. This is really good. This is, this is, this is super good. Right, okay, I'm done. Um, <clears throat> I was actually thinking if I should be playing like let's say a 10 minute blitz and just play a lot of games just to get into the the habit of just playing 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 um but the problem even five minute games just just for what I said the reason of just playing 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 it's like quick games quick games quick games but the problem is and I was thinking versus um actually versus players only only chess but the problem is that I think that just hurts my learning curves while if i play longer games i give myself more time to actually learn while playing the game because it's i mean it's the piano it is the piano straight up the piano where you 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 go for accuracy that's the important part with the fingers you want accuracy and then you can go for speed later right but you go for accuracy first and then when you have the accuracy, you know, so yeah, we'll see. Um, I think I'm done. I don't think I'm, I have to, I have to go pee, dude. I have to go pee. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay. Thanks. Peace. Uh, anything else? 2002, February 3rd. Actually awesome. I actually love this. How did I get that arrow? I don't know how I got that arrow though. Huh? Wait, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, if I click here, it goes to the last, the last position. Okay, I got that. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, I would like to be able to add arrows. Like, yeah, you can go here, you can go, like as you can on chess.com, but I guess that might not work here. Anyways, okay, we're done. Um, not arrow. Display an arrow indicating expected reply when you're about to make a mistake. You can also enter moves in the key command line. To capture a pee, shredder is thinking. Well, okay, shit, I gotta, I gotta pee. This sucks. Um, actually, you know what? You know what? It's fine. The easiest to enter is with the mouse. You can also enter with the command line. A yellow arrow shows a weak move. Red arrow blunder. Okay, so when I drag. When I drag a piece, what the hell was that sound? Okay, when I drag a piece, no, it doesn't. Is that hints or what? Let's see. Go to, go what? I don't know. I think. Okay, yeah. So if I didn't, if I had a different set. Okay, let's try that. Let's, let's uh, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. So random color, rate my play, show this dialogue, strict rules, no take backs, ELO, start. Let's see. So I'm white. Okay, no, that doesn't work. Where's hints? Hint. Okay, so that's the hint. You want me to go here? But that's not hmm, shit. I'm looking for something else. Edit position. No, that's not it. Clear board. Current position. Start position. Ah, never mind. Okay, I'm done. I got to piss. Thanks for watching. Awesome. This is awesome. This is actually so much more. Um, this is so much more data than I thought I'd get. So yeah, this is this is really good. This is really really good. I right, peace.